Okay, uh, today we're going to show you how to choose the right step down transformer for your American equipment. Um, we get a lot of questions about how to choose the right transformer, so this is just a brief overview. Um, today we'll be showing you two different types of American equipment the Philips uh, wake up light and the uh, KitchenAid mixer. Um, the Philips wake up light, this is a new product that has just come in from uh, America. Uh, it's on Amazon, it's very popular at the moment. The Philips wake up light, um, basically what you need to do is for any of these devices you need to look at the input power. To, to work out the input power, if you get your device you can actually turn it upside down and have a look. And on this wake up lamp you can see the input power is 120 volt, 85 watts, 0.19 amp. So we look at the watts or the amps and the wattage for this one is under 100 watts. So for this one we'd recommend the 100 watt step down transformer. So what you've got is you've got an American plug. The American plugs can either be two prong or three prong with the round earth. This is the two prong. And basically, this just plugs straight into the transformer. So it's quite quite easy. You just plug it into the transformer. This one's okay. Now it's plugged into the transformer and the power's come on and you can see I turn the lamp on and the wake up lamp's working. So basically what's happening here is the, the, the uh, step down transformer is stepping down the power from the 240 volt Australian down to 120 volt American. So it's transforming that power and allowing it to run. One question we got is, why can't I just use a travel converter? The thing is, a lot of this American equipment is only designed to run at 120 volt. Some equipment, like computers, can run at both 120 and 240, but most equipment is designed only for, for one voltage. So this one, you have to use a step-down transformer for. The other um, popular equipment that comes from America at the moment is the KitchenAid mixer. You can see here KitchenAid. This is the professional 600 series. And same thing, if you know the input power that you've, got in, that you've worked out on the internet or you've got in the specs from the supplier, you can um, work out how much wattage the motor is rated at. If you don't know, you can always look, when you, when you receive the goods, you can look at the bottom on the spec plate. So I'm just going to turn this one up. Here's the KitchenAid label and the input power. So you need to look at the input, 120 volt, 560, sorry, 575 watts. So this unit is drawing 575 watts. So you need for this one, a 1000 watt step down transformer. So what you've got here is your American plug that comes off the KitchenAid mixer. This one's actually a three, three prong plug with the round earth. And what you do is you plug that straight into the step down transformer. This transformer is actually our 2000 watt one. We could have used the 1000 watt. But just for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to show you. So that plugs just straight into the transformer. And I'm going to put the bowl back in. And I'm going to turn it on. So it's running at the low speed. And then at the medium speed, and then at the maximum setting. So you can you can 
see the KitchenAid's running basically at maximum uh, performance there. Uh, if you buy a larger step down transformer, which a lot of people um, have asked about, you can actually run many devices from that one transformer. But you just have to make sure that, that the actual wattage of all the devices you plug in doesn't exceed the rating of the transformer. So I'm going to show you. I'll plug in the wake up lamp into the transformer here as well. So I've got the KitchenAid mixer and the Philips wake up lamp both plugged into the one transformer and they're both functioning. So they're both running from the one transformer. The other feature we have is you can also buy uh, an American power board. The power board can run many devices, which you can run off one transformer. Just have to make sure that you know if they're all running at once, they don't exceed the rating of the transformer. And you've got we have the American extension leads in five meters and the ten meters if you need to put the transformer further away from where the device is.